Thank you and welcome back to Fred Mwangi TV. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and share this video widely. Now, popular cross dresser Kevin Kenodia has set the record straight regarding his sexuality. Speaking to YouTuber Mongai Eve, Kenodia urged people to mind their business. Since that discussions around the LGBTQ community have nothing to do with him. According to the TikToker, everybody has a right to live their lives and identify whoever they want. Addressing a direct inquiry about his association with the LGBTQ community, Kenodia maintained that his personal life, including his sexuality and romantic preferences, remain his private affair. He disclosed that his sexuality and dating preferences are purely his business. He said, Nilipata watu wa kiureza but hiyo ni swari awkward. If you are, you are. Hiyo ni story yako. Mimi hai ni husu. Kama niko it is my life. Kama siko it is my life pia. In another section of the interview, Kinodi also touch upon the discomfort he experiences when people address him as a man, particularly when he is fully adorned in women's clothing. Although he said he did not find it particularly offensive, he prefers it if they call him by his name instead. There was a time you said that when you meet with your male fans out there, they should stop calling you bro. You said that you identify as a baby girl. Why did you feel the urge to tell them, be calling me baby girl? Kenodia responded, Suezi sema ni offended, inakanga awkward. Imagine umengara uko katikati ya mola, lafu mtu wana shout ni aje bro. I wouldn't say na firingi ituanga baya. Na firingi tu ikiwa awkward. When it comes to pronouns, Kenodia is flexible, leaving the decision to his fans' discretion. He said, you as an individual, do you like to identify as he or she? Ama you don't have a problem when it comes to the pronouns. Watu ushindu wata ni itaji, just call me Kenodia. Ukitaka kunita he, tumia he. Ukitaka kunita she, tumia she. In March, Kenodia start controversy after fronting a mansion he allegedly purchased. Netizen questioned the ownership of the three-story house, saying Kenodia was crowd chasing. According to a section of social media users, the property was on sale and Kenodia was tasked to market the real estate complex where the mansion is situated. And now, Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and share this video widely. My name is Freda from Fred Mwangi TV. Let's meet on the next one.